Hello everybody, Waffles Play Minecraft here and welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we will be looking at making text and hopefully uh, this text will look okay. This is just my personal preference on making uh, good looking text, but you can do it however you like. I'm just going to show you my way of doing it, so let's get into this. So open up Cinema 4D. First thing you're going to want to do is set up your scene a little bit. So add a floor, create a new material, make it just solid white, untick specular. Um, to create a material I just double clicked down here and you, you get a new material. So uh, that's how you do that, just drag that onto your floor. Go up here into your render settings, change this to your preferred resolution. Mine is 1280 by 720 pixels, uh, that is HD. Um, Add some effects here, uh, add some amb ambient occlusion and some global illumination. Go into the sampling tab under global illumination, put this to low, go into irradiance cache and change your record density to low as well. So now that you have your render settings set up, it's time to add a light. So uh, just go into this little light bulb and hold click on that and then add an infinite light rotate this however you want. Um, I'm just going to duplicate my floor here. Uh, Control C, Control V. And I'm going on the second floor that I just duplicated, I'm going to rotate it 90 here and 90 on the Z. So 90 in here. And there we go. Now we have this kind of scene. Uh, looks pretty good. We're going to look at what this looks like um, rendered. So here's our basic scene and now we're going to look at text. So to add a text just go up into MoGraph and MoText. So now you have your text but I don't think anyone likes the look of this text. So we're going to change that and we're going to make this look really fabulous. Um, so. Let's do that. Okay, so for the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create, um, is duplicate, bloop, da, da. duplicate your text. So do control C, control V on your text. Uh, go into your first text, not the duplicated one, uh, not the copy of the first one, and just go into the first one and up your depth to around 100. Now um, change whatever you want to want your text to say. So maybe um, I don't know waffles because they're delicious, and uh, also change the, the what you want the text to say on uh, your duplicate. So I'm going to write waffles in here as well. And now these are both stuck. Uh, they look like the same text because it's an exact duplicate, um, except this one's only 20 centimeters deep. So um, let's rotate our camera here, or our view, to be looking at the top of the text. And let's um, increase the depth of the second of the duplicate text here to about 70 if you had your first text uh, set to 100 in depth. Make it about 70 or 80. I'm just going to leave mine at 80, uh, and then center it, so it looks like this. This this text here, the duplicate, is exactly in the middle of the original. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change the font of these, so select both your texts, go into Object, and select the font, and just choose whatever. Um, I'm going to choose my favorite font, which is Bauhaus 93, right here. So now we have this. Uh, next thing we're going to want to do is go into your duplicated text, uh, select the caps tab, um, starting cap, fillet cap, make that a fillet cap, end cap, make that a fillet cap as well, and under fillet type, make this one step. And then you'll get this kind of I don't know, it looks pretty good. 
I kind of like that. But now let's add some colors. So uh, drag your plain white material onto the original here. The first text. Create a new material. After that, double click into in this box here. Open up that material and make it whatever color you want. Let's just do that. Then just drag that onto the second text and look at this beautifulness. So this is a really quick tutorial but many of you were asking so I just wanted to uh, show you how to do this kind of text. Uh, it looks pretty good after. Uh, if you ask me, I don't know, I like it. it. Looks nice. So now what you can do as well is go into your light, shadow, and shadow type, change that to retraced hard, and uh, there you go. Maybe not, maybe not 100%. Change, put this down to maybe 60. Under your shadow density. Change that to 60 and render this out again. Now you have some shadows, they don't look too good because we don't have anti-aliasing turned on, but that doesn't matter. It still looks okay. Uh, let me just turn anti-aliasing on for you so that you can see what it really looks like. There you go, that's the rendered text, looks very nice. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe, that would, be, that would really help me out. Uh, anyways, um, more tutorials will be coming out soon, and I will see you later everybody, goodbye. <laughs>